RDB it's a bit too early to be asking that to be honest Hmm. Four of us keep meeting at this particular crunch point. Yeah. I kind of feel like if we all just went round this thing in one direction, it would be a lot easier. So we missed a few bits as well. Yeah, I'll start following them now. Jules, when I was a kid, uh, we used to mix my drinks like Coke and Fanta or Limeade. Oh, no. no. I remember mixing cordials with lemonade to make it a fizzy cordial. Yeah, when we were doing that. Never, never Coca-Cola with, like, Fanta or... No, that, that's just wrong. I didn't really drink Coca-Cola when I was a kid. I think it was more... I drank all things like Iron Brew and Fanta mm. and Lemonade. Didn't really, um, dandelion and burdock, but not really Coca Cola. Mixed tea and coffee. Oh, yeah, lovely. Oh, no. no, thanks. HY Christine. I've sent you some. Uh, I've sent you some haunters back then. How did you find them? They are the ones I know that are not available in the UK. Haunters. Were they the. Are you on about the crisp bears? Were they just super fiery hot ones? Tizer. Yeah, Tizer's... It's alright, Tizer, but it tastes... It's a bit like drinking chewing gum. It's a bit weird. Mm. You don't see that often now. Though. No. Kind of died off a bit. Uh, those were the two wafers of chocolate, nuts in between the square ones. Uh, I think I had. I think I. Um, it's hard to remember, Baz, but I think I ate those. <laughs> Anything with chocolate and nuts is always a good deal. I'm pretty certain I remembered eating those though. Oh yeah, Wizard, yeah, the pot man with his bottles. Still get that round here? Yeah. Wow. Mm hmm. Where are you going? I'm following Khan. Khan! God! I know, right? I've still not watched it. <laughs> Before you ask, I've still not watched it's it. It's just unbelievable, Steve. Uh huh. I, I, you know. The fact that you've half watch watched it. it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know. Although, the reference that you said last week about something about war games. Oh, I yeah. have seen the film, but I just didn't get the reference. Right, okay. We, we watched it again the other day. And you were um, like, I've seen this before. And I, I was like, yeah, I definitely have seen this before, but I just didn't get the reference. Do you like Tango? It's all right, Connor, but I, I prefer Fanta. I find Tango a bit flat. The farm's in fun 12 months. <laughs> One year hype, now time for some celebratory kebab. Hashtag ideas for Steve's tea. I'm good. I'm yeah. alright. Try Christine. Already, I've already eaten. So have I. Thank you for 13 months, Try Christine. Although you're thinking about food for later, possibly. I'm, I'm, well, me, no, I'm not, because I've just eaten. No, but, you know, you said this last week where, <laughs> you know, I'm turning the no. tables. You always turn around to me and say, "Yeah, but Steve, at the end of the stream, you know, it's, it's in five hours' time. You're going to be hungry." Well, but yeah, I'm going to be hungry, so I might order something. I I, I what, had a nice breakfast out with Mrs. Squirrel this morning, so uh, and, and I posted a picture of it on Instagram, and it was very nice. It was um, it was like a, I've never had anything like it before. It was a massive waffle, oh, and I they, saw that. They yeah. do sweet waffles and savoury waffles, and this was a savoury waffle. So it was right. a massive waffle. With chili con carne on top, and um, and guacamole. Wait, like, for breakfast. Yeah. It was honestly, it was amazing. Well, it was like a brunch, really. It was it was midday at the time. Because we was out and about, and we got hungry, so I quickly brought up my Google Maps and went, "Watch round here," and it came up with this thing called the Waffle House, and we're like, "All right, let's go there then." 
and it turned out to be dog friendly there was cute dogs like sitting around and they, they bring little bowls for them to drink from so Mrs. Squirrel was like, oh, this is so cool, I love this place. And the waffles were <laughs> She's great. She's going to go there with Doyle. Yeah, so I've already eaten out today. I certainly won't be eating out later. Well, I've already had a KFC for my dinner, so... <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I might have a takeaway later. About to do the mod spreadsheet, Summy. Thank you. Yeah, Charlie Sims, I am, um, you know, I, I honestly I would never have considered putting chili con carne on top of a waffle. Yeah, neither uh, did I. But I can honestly tell you that it actually works. But the, they weren't like normal waffles that you get from Bird's Eye, I'd say. They were, they were quite big waffles, and they were very, very light. Like, when you cut the knife through them, they were light and crunchy on the inside. So, it, it worked. Fair enough. No, friends, I don't eat four at once, I just have one. Cameron, I don't know, I've got to record something. I don't I don't have a mice in my car recorded. Hey, Jonasy, thank you for the host. You've got a waffle house in Newark when you went into the whole family, love the different ones that you can get. Yeah, I, honestly, if you're ever in um, St. Albans, anybody, if you're ever in St. Albans, um, look up the Waffle House, because it's a really, really nice place. And it was busy. I mean, it was, you know, a lot of people obviously go there regularly. Especially if you've got a dog, because they're quite happy for your dog to just sit there. But no, they're nothing like a bird's eye potato waffle. Like, they're nothing like that. Yeah, it was a very strong coffee that was trained to them, but the, the way they'd actually made it, you could tell that was a proper barista made that. But for a flat white, it was pretty strong. <laughs> to be honest, I, I wasn't massively keen on the beans they used. Like, the flavour of the beans wasn't quite to my style. But the coffee was good. You live near St Albans. Well, have, have a look for um, the Waffle House. You can find it. Thanks, ProDrive. Sorry, uh, I'm just having an argument with that telephone pole. Fair enough. ProDrive, did you see the comment on that video that somebody put about... Um, the guy said something like, Four adverts on this video. You've changed, Paul. I'm going to wait till I get home and watch this on my ad-blocked browser. Lord. And um, I was thinking, four ads? I didn't put four ads on this video. And I was going to reply to him, and then I read the rest of the comments underneath, and the guy just got destroyed. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> okay, I don't need to say anything. <laughs> I, was, I found that really interesting, just reading through the comments. But yeah, I was like, four ads, what the heck? Yeah. No, no, hey man, have a look. Have a look at his comment. But the guy just got wrecked. Why can't you host, Cameron? Just do slash host space squirrel in your channel. You can also do, you can also um, auto host it, Cameron, so you don't ever have to do it again. It'll just auto host me. We're nearly done. It was on the doubles video service. The doubles, um, the recent doubles one in ETS. It was on that one. Yeah, there's the times of comments, but not so much the video. 
Yeah, the thing is, Charlie, he's got, he's got the time to write his comment, but not skip a five-second ad. <laughs> it's beautiful. I mean, this is why he got wrecked, because it's ridiculous. The thing is, they don't understand the time and effort that it takes to go into a video, you know. Yeah, I ain't got a clue, Steve. I ain't got a clue. I just think you play games all day and that's that. Yeah. Well, it is what it is. Yeah, you know, especially a good quality video as well. You know, with good audio, good video that's not like... I mean, I watched a video that on YouTube the other day and it was of gameplay, but it was the worst oh, gameplay yeah. lag. I mean, it was like... It was like watching a slideshow, the lag was I've that I've seen bad. videos like and that. It was, and it was about the multiplayer. And you've got some person, I'm not going to, you know, say a kid or whatever, but there was some person on, like, doing, like, a commentary kind of thing. And it, it was the worst voice. It was like... Okay, so I'm going to go here. And it, it was like it was talking into a tin can yeah. of a microphone. You know, It was just awful to watch and I was like nope yeah but well, that, that's right there that's the problem is even yeah. if this guy manages to get people to go to his channel they won't stay because yeah. the audio and video is so bad exactly but it, it was just like a slideshow and he was doing it on multiplayer and it's like how can you play that game yeah. with that many FPS you know True. with like 4 FPS yeah how can you play the game without crashing you know thank you Sommy um okay what makes them uh, i don't know i guess we should go and get a cedar uh, i'm just asking them. just tighten up these corners a little bit night talk um i hate ads too bro i don't think anybody honestly says they they you know, love ads. Like, I don't watch the content, I just tune in for the ads. Like, said no one ever. But, fact is, on YouTube, they're the only way that a creator will get any money. Yeah. It's the income that you can get. Well, not the only way, but pretty much the only way. Well, no, true. How the heck do I get around this map? <laughs> <laughs> You're not asking me because I ain't got oh a clue. God. I, don't, I don't even know where the farm is. Where does this go? I'm gonna go this way. Go on a venture. Mrs. Don't 26 months, yikes! <laughs> Can't wait for insomnia. Hope you're well. I am Mrs. Don't. Insomnia Hope looms. Hopefully Nell's okay as well. Yeah, I think I think we'll be okay. Assist operation. Where the heck am I going? Just got a load of lag. See this here is not actually on the map as a drivable road but it where is where the hell are you i'm where phil oh, okay. 20 is yeah i see you but this is actually like a dirt track but it's not you can just about see it on the map but it is here and it takes you straight back to the um the farm uh the tan v thank you for eight months and marcus thank you for the host marcus Hope you're well. Shoot bandits, they all do. Not, you know, a lot of them. Most of them, I would say, on YouTube think that the content is free because that's what they're used to. They don't, they've never, on YouTube, you have never had to pay to watch a video. But you've kind of assumed that the ads are there. But once an ad block become available, you're like, well, I'll get rid of that and I'll just watch the content. But it's the ecosystem you destroy. That's the downside of it. Where are the jet washes in this place? Uh, depends where you are. Oh, if you if you come round here where I am, go past my Jaffo. They're on the left hand, uh, right hand side. You go past them. What down here? Yeah, go straight on, straight down there, and you'll see them on the right hand side. Crikey, can we get one back down there somewhere? Down here on the right, are you having a laugh, Steve? Uh, there should be. If not, turn left down that little side road, and there is some down there. Yeah, down there. Well, I don't think you can expect me to jet wash everything if I've got to drive down here to do it. It's far too inconvenient. 
It's kebab night, David. Enjoy. She's doing good. Uh, her wound is nice and clean, so no complications as a post op tomorrow. Nice. Yeah, she'll be fine. Yeah, she'll, she'll get over that. She'll be uh, recovered in no time. As long as you can stop them from biting or licking it, they're fine. Yeah, she got a lava shade on her head. No, because it's on her back. So she can't actually get at it. The only thing I think she could do, though, is scratch it with the back leg. You know when dogs do that thing where they get the back leg and go <laughs> on yep. the back of the neck? Yep. Still don't know what we're seeding. Is it not said? No. Nope. Alright. Well, we'll just go and do something then. Uh, well, we're going to seed field three, so... Oh, did you not clean your plough, Steve? No. Uh, you need to unfold it first, so press X. Oh, maybe not. Oh, I like how you pointed that out. <laughs> Mine is clean, <laughs> Tommy. <laughs> wait, for the, wait for the comment now. Where's the cedars then? I'm not telling you. I'm not saying anything. <laughs> you can nanas now. <laughs> My ball behind is you. firmly in. Behind, <laughs> behind where I am. Good boy, here's 50p to go to the shop. <laughs> What's Khan doing? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> They're just behind me. The little red one. Although we may need the green one depending on what Sonny wants us to see. Where are you going? Me? Well... Oh, are you stuck? No, I was reversing. We uh -huh. talk about it. Cool. Where are you going? Changing my cedar. Why? Because he wants wheat or barley. Oh, we've got the wrong one then. I like how you didn't tell me. Well, you wasn't going to tell me where the cedar was. I did. I told. I said the, where I am behind. You what? Me. I said. Oh, I'm not telling you now. <laughs> and then as soon as you drove away and gone the wrong way, I told you. I was going to let you get down the road a bit and then tell you. Uh huh. Of <laughs> course you did. Did you put the PT on? Don't need a PT on that one. Uh, I shouldn't be. You stop. Yeah, stop. Just a little bit. Need a hand? No. Those pink tractors get stuck easier than the blue ones. Uh huh. Could do with oh, the push yeah. there. I just said, do you want a hand? You went, no. I will now, because <laughs> I am definitely stuck. I'm stuck on a post. There's a post underneath, and he's not moving. Also, you need to look at it. Thank you. See, I got beached on a goddamn post. What you do is press shift four, five, six. I've already done it, but it doesn't work. Yeah, 
It won't let you sub once again, Monkey of War. Wow, what's happening, bro? Tell us what the problem is. It's the same problem I was having yesterday. The payment page just spins. Oh, really? Yeah. Chris94, on El Squirrel Farm, everyone needs pink tractors except Squirrel. Dude, this is nothing. I had nothing to do with this. I joined the server and there was pink tractors and one blue one for me. I had literally nothing to do with it. But the blue one may have been for me. What was the How squirrel did you logo? Know that on the there? blue one was going to be for you. Because he yeah, said this is this is Steve's, and pointed right. to the pink one next to it. I think we'll start off with a perimeter run. I still think I've been ripped off. <laughs> Dave, I'm 84. Um, Paul. How come you got a blue tractor and everyone else has a pink one? Ask Sommy. Favoritism. Exactly, it's just pure favoritism. What are we seeding? Dude, do we need to cultivate this? Um, possibly. Uh, Why is it not No, seeding? it seems to be going down. Oh, okay. Um, what are we seeding? I'm doing wheat. Which is the... Yeah, okay. Looks like a Kellogg's wheat symbol. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, he said wheat or barley, I think. So, wheat sounds good. Yeah, it says wheat or barley. We'll do a lap and then do get the GPS set up. Sounds good. Tracks 35 with two months. Stray dogs on acid. Thanks <laughs> for the resume. You do not own this field, lol. Wow. Now I do. Uh, Dat Sparrow, yes it is. I think we should drive each other's tractors. <laughs> Just to see if you enjoy it. You're watching Jamaica, JBig. What are they doing? Oh, turn. Northern Alex, thank you for the host. I left that corner, I'll have to get it later. I mean, not that it make a massive difference to our cash flow. Nah, not really. Pink fluffy unicorn overalls are on order. <laughs> you can send the buggers back. <laughs> the first squirrel, not nope. me. What you need for Christmas, Steve, right? You oh, need a pink onesie with a big unicorn nope. on, the, on the back. No. Nope. That's what you need. No, nope, it's not what I need. A, a pink onesie. A pink fluffy unicorn nope. onesie. I'm good. I'll pass. You know you'd wear it. No, I you, would you, you, you'd be around the house. Nobody's going to see you. No, because it's going to have a goddamn hood that's going to have a goddamn horn on it. Perfect. That would make it an ideal unicorn outfit. No. Yeah, obviously LC, I have to get the right size, but you know. It's doable. Get it one size bigger and then Squirrel can have it when it don't fit. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, anyway, with a pink unicorn onesies. onesie. I, I've never worn a onesie. Neither have I. First time for everything. Oh, yeah, I, yeah. No, I'm good. Do you want to drive this tractor? First time for everything, squirrel. <laughs> Why do you want the blue one so much? <laughs> huh? Why do you want this blue one so much? I don't. I'm just saying. Do you want to join me in the club of the pink fluffy unicorn world? See, somebody's blaming Mad Mick for the whole show uh -huh. now. I see that. Game of Penguins, you need to get a P.O. box, Steve, so we can send you pink gifts. I did have a P.O. box once, but it was just too expensive, so... They are expensive. Really and, are. What is it, 130 odd or 160 oh, odd yeah. for six months? For six months, yeah. Yeah. Because they're built for businesses, that's why. Yeah, they are. Jules, Sommy swears that he didn't have anything to do with the uh, PFU. That's what uh -huh. he says. Of course he didn't. Could just be misdirection. I know, he was aware of it though. Martin, don't need to feel bad, bro. I, I, if anybody tries to add me on Steam, I just click ignore. There's, there's nothing personal, Martin. Absolutely. I get 
about oh, yeah, yeah. 40 to 50 ad requests a week on Steam, and I click ignore all on all of them. So it's absolutely nothing personal. Right, let's set up a uh, GPS thing in Bobski. Right. Let's uh, rotate. V1. Okay, this is an awkward angle. We hope that Steve's arranged a trailer to get all of the gifts home from I-61. I don't think I'll be getting that many gifts else here. I'm not that popular, you know. Okay, I think maybe... Let's try about that. Okay. Might have to reverse a little bit. Oh, copy. There might be a few bits and pieces on the way that we'll have to trim out. Get this bit, this row. So you don't want flapjacks? Yeah, I want flapjacks. <laughs> I'll, ne I'll never say no to flapjacks. <laughs> but I mean, you know. Mrs. Don't's flapjacks. I know. You should brand them oh. Mrs. Don't. It should Honestly. say on it, Mrs. Don't's flapjacks. <laughs> <laughs> and I love this, this kind of baker woman on the front going, no, as if they like, Mrs. Did, don't. <laughs> did you not try them last year? Oh, yeah, I had them last year. Because oh, she right, did okay. not remember. Yeah, yeah. She had I, um, I, I, flapjacks I and some. something else. I think it was a sponge cake, wasn't it? Yeah, it was something like that. I had them on the train on the way home. <laughs> <laughs> I was sat on the train, I'd got my iPad on, I was watching something on Netflix that I'd downloaded. And I was just sat there with the flapjacks going, nom, nom, yeah. nom, nom. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> Why not? By the, by the time I got home, no one on left. Save carry him around. <laughs> Monkey of War 2. <laughs> Thank you for subbing. Welcome to the house. Thank you for figuring it out. Thank you for giving Monkey of War a nutty walk up, guys. But yeah, I guess fill in the gaps here because the uh, it's an awkward shape. Yeah, it is. And it's swap over as well. So get ready for the uh, music. Music is ready. The work took them from the menu and replaced them with carrot cake. Well, I do like a good carrot cake, but I prefer flapjacks. Oh yeah, I love I love a good carrot cake. Yeah, it's got to be nice and strong though. You nice know, and moist. Well, not too strong, but you know, nice moist carrot cake. in them little bits yeah I just want to get these otherwise we'll probably just forget like we'll get to the side of the field go right we're done I mean you carry on if you want I'll just get them yeah, I'll just get this bit here scumbag I knew we wouldn't get far think I might uninstall everything ATS ETS steamed a lot why 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 would you do that you have nothing to play then Mid turn? I know, same. <laughs> I'm just about to turn around to do the other little bit. Steam sucks, I don't agree. Yeah, that's fine, Baz. Don't worry. You want to bring one of those, um, you know what they go uh, hiking in, those giant backpacks uh, with a metal frame on it. Take one of them. Oh, yeah. No, I, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to get one of those little red carts with four wheels and just pull that around. So <laughs> like a so granny off. trolley. Yeah. Yeah. No, Come on. Not a, no, not a granny trolley. You know, like, um, is it Clifford the Big Red Doggos? I don't ask why I know this. But you know those little four-wheeled uh, little trailer trolley things? They're like... I don't know, really small, low to the ground. You've, you've got like a handle, like a little pull cart thing or whatever it is. I don't right. know what the proper name of it is. 
Not a granny troll. I'm not walking around in you something. Mu you must know what a granny trolley is, Cat Strider. You must know what a granny trolley is. <laughs> I think they might not have them in America. Well, I need to find a picture of one for him. <laughs> I'm going. Well, if you're finding one of those, I'm going to find the picture of the red trolley thing. Here we go. Let me find... <laughs> have you literally just said uh, yeah, <laughs> granny trolley? <laughs> Hang on. Hang on. I can show you... There you go. Right, let me just tag Cat Straighter. There you go. That's what granny trolleys look like. Click that one that I've put in. That's what I meant. The red trolley. Oh, I remember them. Yeah, you used to yeah, put like you used put thing. dirt in them as a kid, yeah. just messing about in the garden. Yeah, I'll get one of those and then I'll pull that round insomnia. It'll have a squeaky wheel and everything, so it'll be like, ee, 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 and then everyone will know where I am. It'll be like, hey, up, Steve's coming. <laughs> Honestly, cat, those those granny trolleys, the, the women who use them are just a nightmare. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're a nightmare with them. They, they yep. shove them into you, they run you over with them. They basically got, if I've got a granny trolley, I've got right away. That's how they look at it. Yep, pretty much. Like, mums and prams think they've got priority, but when it comes to grannies and trolleys, they trump mums and prams. Getting her way at your peril. Excuse me, I'm quite considerate when I have my granny trolley with me. I've never met a considerate <laughs> granny trolley lady yet. I see similar stuff in cities, but I don't think I've seen an old lady pushing one of those. Oh, they don't normally push them, they pull them. Yeah. Though they're, yeah, they, you can push or pull them. You can also sit on them if you feel adventurous. Right down the hill. Granny trolley with air horns. He's not about the grannies with the moto scooters and leave the one that tried to push me off the bridge. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do another run on this edge. Hey? So, oh, I'm yeah, going to do enough. another run on this edge because it's uh, a, bit a bit tight. On yeah, the, the turning turn right. circle's not that great on these things. Yeah. All of those you've met in the States are pretty nice. I don't know, quick set, they must be brought up differently over there. No, I don't have a granny trolley cat. In the UK, we have aggressive grannies. Like, they always come out at about 8 in the morning when Marks and Spencer opens. Yeah. That's when you'll see the species that is, the aggressive granny. You'll see them lining up outside the post office as well. Yeah, they're outside the post office, getting the pension. They're outside Marks and Spencer's, ready to get the soft loaves. They're going to yeah. squish about half of them down yeah, first and then buy a couple. <laughs> they are, they're the classic bread squeezers. Yeah, they're you like, know, they go in and go, that's nice and soft. That's nice. That's nice and soft. I'll have one at the back. Yeah. I've seen them do it. <laughs> I've seen them do it. But saying that, I'm guilty of doing it as well. <laughs> <laughs> also, Kat, you're lucky that I'm no longer a moderator because I would have I'd have purged that. I didn't get it a time out. Aggressive grannies with soft lows. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the UK. Hey, they can be quite dangerous though. It's like them with the mobility scooters. There's some of them that can just be like <laughs> so ignorant yeah. with them. Oh man. There's somebody that comes down our road with one of their mobility scooters and they come flying down the path, cut across onto the road. Yeah. And they, they're I mean, it's not motoring. Everyone. Yeah, it's not all of them. You know, some of them are actually quite courteous, but you get the odd one or two that are really, really annoying with them. Mad Mick, I can confirm Summy had nothing to do with the pink tractor mod, and allocating 
of them to the subs. I had the okay from the missing farm admin to set up the farm as I like. <laughs> the missing farm, oh, okay. So when Motley gets back, he's oh, going to be okay yeah, with that. Yeah, Sammy and, Mo and Motley are basically saying, we had nothing to do with this. Uh-huh. David Meaty 4, as you have the squirrel logo on your tractor pull, when you come to sell it later, it, uh, will it boost the value of it? And also, do you know how to add the logo to the oh, tractor? Yeah, yeah. And the granny trolleys can be annoying when getting on and off the buses. Yes, they can, because they take forever with them. Um, I didn't put this logo on the tractor, so I'm not really sure, to be honest, how they did it. You'll have to ask uh, Mad Mick. But then he says he had an accomplice, so you'll have to ask Mad Mick's accomplice. I think you need to get your uh, Sherlock hat on and figure out the, you know... <laughs> it's in the seed room. In the seed room. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Jules, I don't do that with my scooter. Mm-hmm. Para purple like minus, said, why fruitcakes always down is because they never get a rum deal. But don't. Might as well do a rum on this side as well. Wind. You. Take the edge off this one. I've noticed tractors have got smoke coming out of them. Yeah, when you let go of the accelerator, well, when you accelerate a little bit, it's white, and then when you accelerate full, it's black. Yeah. Or at least it was when we were plowing. Have I ever eaten dog food? <laughs> no. Even if he had, he wouldn't admit to it. Come on. I've never had dog food. It's not that appealing. Well, apparently, you know, it's it's good for you. <laughs> really? Well, as in, if you was in a zombie apocalypse, you would eat it, because it's perfectly no, I good did, food. No. Uh, no, I'm fine, I pass. You know, you're only... What's that phrase? You're only, you're only a few square meals away from uh, being an animal or something like that. No, I'm good. There's another saying, you are oh, what you eat, yeah, yeah. I'm not a dog. Woof. <laughs> Chris94, I am maybe going back to Denmark next year too, but alone. I uh, have seen much of Denmark, but barely Copenhagen, so that's where I want to go next year. Nice. Yeah, I'd like to see Copenhagen. Oh, yeah, yeah. You've tried dog treats, they're just bland. Well, they're only like biscuit stuff, aren't they? They're not, they don't taste anything like human stuff. You've had chocolate. It's probably because they don't put monosodium glutamate all over them, so they taste bland to us. Jules, I even let out cars at junctions with my scooter. Some of, them, some of those scooters, you have to pay road tax on them. <laughs> really? Yeah. Wow. You got all that? Uh, yeah. Just a little bit missing. How's a dog chocolate? Uh, J10. What, the white one that I tried, you mean? Disgusting. <laughs> Your type of crop has changed. It's still, still showing wheat for me. That's what we started no, it, on. Yeah, it's not the crop, it's just it's moved down to the bottom instead. That's the uh, fertiliser. Oh, I see what it means. Yeah, it basically orders it by, like, the least full. It's really confusing. So it puts the one with the least amount at the bottom, it reorders that list, essentially. I should probably move myself over very slightly. Where am I? Hopefully you sat at your desk. <laughs> <laughs> if some of those fancy dog foods come in, uh, they seem some dogs eat better than I do. Yeah, like the, um, what are they called? Those little flat, uh, those, not, they're not in a tin, oh, they're like in a metal yes. packet. They're built for small Caesar. dogs. For yeah, Caesar. like Caesar. You look at that, it's like a flipping beef meal. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Beef and gravy. <laughs> wow. Does that come with a knife and fork? Uh, Harry Taylor, 10 months. Wow, very fast 10 months. Worth it though, I haven't been able to watch. It's a work commitment, but I know you'll be doing the nuttest proud, keep up good work. Thank you, Harry. I, I will try. 
Yeah, we don't get Caesar. Um, Donald doesn't really like Caesar. It's got too much gravy in it. We get this other one that's more in a jelly. He prefers the jelly. You've eaten dog food, it didn't end well. I didn't think it would. Probably didn't taste well. <laughs> oh. Tell you what, they're not very wide, these things, are they? No. Three metres. Oh, three metres, yeah. I'll have to get some bigger equipment. Why would you eat dog food? Well, some people eat it for a laugh. Some people eat it um, because it's cheap, and other people, most desperate. people don't eat it, but yeah, if you're desperate, you would. Cat milk? No. There's nobody else at the moment. Some people uh, sure. feel three. We're on one. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm all right, LND. Let me just line up that. Uh, Jules, with mobility scooters, you have to register them the DVLA. Uh, that's all, no tax. Interesting. Do they have to have a registration I've, plate then, Jules? I've seen them with uh, that you had to pay a tax on. Not all of them, just some of them. Maybe it's like the powerful the, the ones. ones. <laughs> yeah, the big, the bigger one. The petrol, <laughs> petrol version, like Shremer <laughs> <laughs> motors inside. Just gassing everyone out with a petrol round Tesco's, you know. <laughs> But like screaming around <laughs> the bakery the department. <laughs> so what scooter's that? V8. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the Luke Pryor and just uh, just setting up farm sim will be on at 8 p.m. All right, Luke, we'll see you then. Oh yeah, I changed the delivery from a truck to a tractor. That's a good call. I didn't actually do that. I should definitely do that. There we go. Done. Yeah, you're getting team speak monkey of war. It's given out as you join a session. We don't use just one password, we rotate the passwords. You followed one that had a beacon flashing on it once. Charlie, I actually did a project once for a, a guy that wanted a beacon making, and I did it with an Arduino and everything. And he wanted it to flash like a police. Um, like a. Well, not actually a police one, it was all in orange, but. You know, like the like recovery trucks where they flash on one side and then flash on the other side. Yeah. And it was kind of like that. Um, and he wanted me to make him one of those, so I did. Fair enough. Uh, so to say about you don't say my name like Alan D. It's together to form Alan. You know, Murray Ham, the Pro Mods Beta. Alan, 1989. Alan, got you, right. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jules, I don't pay tax on my mobile scooter, and no, you don't need number plates on the scooter, can though. Oh, yeah, you could put your own on. I, I'd probably have, uh, I'd just put a squirrel That's on it. Right? <laughs> well, you, you've, you've got the squirrel number plate, you could put that on. Yeah, exactly, just put that on. You could actually put it in your back window if you can. I'm from. Why do we use password treat session squirrels not so? Just so that people can't come bouncing back in on the session that they're not supposed to be in on. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, Charlie, it was. He basically got a rain cover over it, uh, and he wanted it on the top of that. Uh, Sim Lubix, I did miss it, hang on. Uh, hey, two months more to come, one French subbed, and we'll stay, uh, keep up the great content. Thank you, sir, uh, Sim Lubix. Sorry, I did miss that, I don't know how, but I did. It happened. Thank you for two months. Chat goes so fast, Power Purple. Not compared to Sunday Night Truck, and it doesn't. <laughs> So this is quite relaxed compared to Sundays. Yeah, it's what you get used to, though. Yeah. It's like, I, as a streamer, you have to read it and play the game, but as the mods, like Steve will tell you when you're a mod, when you first start being a mod, you can't, oh, yeah. you can't believe how quick things are going, and then yeah. after six months, you're fine with it. Yeah. You get used to it, you, like, you know... You read only a couple of things first, and then you think, yeah, that'll be fine. Yeah, you can't, you it's patterns, on. isn't it? You spot the patterns. Yeah, you spot certain things. You can tell when you start reading something if it's going to end well. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I remember that first day, though, I was just sat there watching the other moderators that had been moderating for a while, and I was like, how did you even spot that so quickly? Yeah. But I need some seeds. I'm down to 10%. When you click the link on the email, it says page not found, Charlie Sims. What, the link to the, the mod pack? You have to log in, top left, Charlie. Log into the website to see it. Yeah, log in first, and then click the link, and it should work. Uh, J10, thank you for the resume. V8 Mobility Scooter signed me up. Oh, and four months I have. <laughs> signed me up. I reckon you could have wacky races with them things. It'd be awesome. Oh, yeah. We should do that next year at Truckfest. Me and you just get one of those and just, you know, cruise around Truckfest on them. Well, that would be fun, that one. <laughs> Honestly, though, if you went to Truck Fest with um, V8 mobility scooters, oh, yeah. you'd want to have, like, chrome pipes yeah. as well. <laughs> Just, like, massive yeah. chrome pipes sticking up. And chrome then you'd really wheels, get some attention. Put chrome wheels, chrome pipes, yeah. you know. Put Scanny logo Everything. on the front. Beacons on there. And... and then you'd have, like, another unit behind you, what you're towing, like, articulated. <laughs> <laughs> Just to, you know, put all your loot in it. All your, all your food and shopping. Yeah, yeah. Right, I'm going to go fill up some uh, 5%. Yeah, I'm pretty low, 13. Why is it called a mobility scooter? Because it's people who, who, have, who are lacking mobility, as in they can't get around very easily, so it, that's why it's called a mobility scooter. It's not referring to the scooter, it's referring to what purpose it has. You're definitely not coming with your truck fest next year if that's happening. <laughs> <laughs> so if I could get a, a V8 mobility scooter with chromed up, I'd, I'd drive it around <laughs> truck fest. I think I would as well. Right, where's the seeds stored? Where's the seed room? Yeah, where's the seed room? I just want a flaming skull on your mobility scooter. Trying to Keep find coming around. Keep coming round. Uh, there you go, straight forward, straight forward. Wow, it's not. Oh, now it draws your name in. The Too draw distance silos. is rubbish. You kind of have to go to one of them and then pull, like refill, and then move slightly forward and then refill again. Doing it? Yeah, it's filling up. And then go to the other the side. Seed. And do Celebratory bunting. <laughs> that was, that was a classic line in Sherlock. There we go. Uh, 
Uh, Harry, I've not flown for about three weeks and I couldn't fly this week because it binned it down all day yesterday. So uh, I went up there anyway and the instructor, we spent an hour going through some of the uh, ground stuff like emergency procedures, engine fires, engine failures, cabin fires, all that stuff. Like, yeah, exciting. But you have to do it. Gotta be done. You has to do it. Mm. Uh, Jules, if I went to that event, uh, I won't take my scooter. I take electric wheelchair. Nah. Nah. In the, it might rain, Jules. You don't want an electric scooter in the rain when you can have a V8 petrol. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't miss your bit, Jules. Fair weather flyer. Well, the thing is, see, Watty, when you're flying VFR, you pretty much have to be a fair weather flyer. As in, when, when the instructor phones you up and says, we're not flying today because we've only got 600 feet of um, cloud and then, like, low visibility and it's raining and we don't have VFR conditions and you're meant to be doing slow, slow flying and stalling and we can't do that in those conditions, at which point, what do you say to him? Are we just a fair weather flyer? <laughs> <laughs> no, you you basically have to, unfortunately. Like the only conditions they could pretty much fly in, um, in that weather was was IFR. In fact, I think one of the instructors was going to go up and do IFR because he was absolutely that bored, just sat on the ground. Cleave TV, thank you for the host. Get above the clouds. Well. Yeah, but again, it, you, yeah. it's not classed as VFR. It's not quite that simple because you need to be able to see the ground when you're flying VFR, so you can't go above the clouds. You can't just fly above a blanket of cloud and say, well, we're VFR. It doesn't work that way. Uh, can the moderator tell me why I have a base nut instead of a six month nut? Harry, look at the screen. Look at your name on the screen. You've got a silver acorn. That's a six-month nut. Yeah, he's just said, ignore me. <laughs> <laughs> so he, he must have put it in and then was like, oh, wait, no, it isn't. Ignore it. <laughs> Dan Jay, 17 months. Good day, all. Good day, Dan Jay. Yonka, six months, yay! Thank you for the nice streaming. You're welcome, Yonka. Enjoy the silver icon. Yeah, you do have to refresh, Harry. Slow it down so you can catch up a little. Thanks, Alan Sean. Thank you for 32 months. Big Puffin, thanks for resume. You have to learn to fly in all weather so they shouldn't cancel the flying. There's some, steps. there's some conditions that you just can't fly in anyway, squirrels and nuts. It is a light aircraft, you know. But you can't do IFR until you've done your VFR. So you have to learn how to fly, get your PPL, and do your IFR later. Baby steps. Exactly. Same with your night rating. It's not an in-game feature to play with friends. Uh, yes, Almighty, you can. Um, your friends can join you. Your Steam friends can join your game. You can host a game on your machine, or you can have a dedicated server. It's up to you. Baz, it disappeared. That's why we're not bringing it back up. We don't want to make people hungry. What grades do you have to get for PPL? What do you mean, what grades? You, you, you basically... You, you either pass your ride or you don't. You've got to get nine exams. This is UK, by the way. It's different in America. Um, but you've got to sit your nine exams and pass your, um, your check ride. 
and you either pass or fail it's like a driving license they don't grade you they just say you've passed here's your license or sorry <laughs> you failed Try on again. this this and this i like that from cornish no paul if you were if you and steve had a double seater mobility scooter <laughs> who would drive <laughs> I think I think I would drive and Ki and Steve would navigate. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> I was going to say it the other way around because uh, squirrel navigation is a little bit better than <laughs> Pib now. So I'd be the one driving, you'd be navigating. Yeah, yeah, but this way we can get lost in truck, friend. Well, yeah, that's true. We get lost anyway, but I can just envision you stood on like stood on the back, like covering, you know, like right. shading shading your eyes yeah. and going onwards. <laughs> yeah, with a flag. Yeah, with a flag or something. Or if not one of those flying hats, you know, with the little dog ears. <laughs> Sally how old boy, onwards we go. Yeah. Foggy and Clegg, oh that's um, <laughs> uh, last of the summer last wine. Last of the summer wine, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. I used to enjoy that when it first I came know. out, but towards the end it got a little bit. I don't know. It, it was when they changed Cleggy, you know. Yeah. When it was the old, I mean, fair enough, he passed away, but the old Cleggy was he was just the best. He made that show where it was. It kind of felt like the the, the actors in it got a bit bored like it was getting a bit stale for them and the writing wasn't quite up to scratch and it just I don't know kind of got it just you kind of got the feeling it was a bit grindy for them and it came across when you watched it yeah it was good though I've been to where they filmed it went in Nora Batty's cafe and had a drink Nora Batty indeed luckily enough though she didn't chase us out of the shop with a brew <laughs> <laughs> 